there is an extended public key on my device in the Phoenix wallet. Is it safe to share it with the exchange for DCA so they send every month the SATs to a new Bitcoin address? As I just mentioned, the Phoenix wallet is lightning only. It does not offer an on-chain wallet and it also doesn't show an on-chain balance. The master public key that you're speaking of that you found in the wallet info is only used for the final wallet. wallet. Meaning in case your lightning channel gets closed, which can happen sometimes, then your funds are being sent to this master public key to this Bitcoin address automatically. So I would not use this master public key for any other service, for instance, a DCA service, because it conflates the purposes and meaning and, and, and what it is actually. And also you would need another Bitcoin wallet, import the seed there to be able to see and manage the funds that are being sent via DCA. So in theory, yes, you could use the master public key, which is derived from the 12 seed words of your Phoenix wallet. And you could also import the 12 seed words into another Bitcoin wallet. But this first makes the seed less secure because you have it on another online device now. And I just wouldn't do it. No, don't do that. So this is not for DCA. And another thing regarding DCA, which means dollar cost averaging for, for everyone. Dollar cost averaging is a technique where you acquire Bitcoin in periods, always like in the same interval over and over again. For instance, every Monday, the system automatically sends you a certain amount of Bitcoin that you want. And then you reach an average price of uh, what you have paid for the Bitcoin you received. It's clever because um, you don't um, lose out maybe. So for instance, if the price of Bitcoin is very high and you uh, spend all your uh, money that you have to uh, exchange it to Bitcoin, and then three weeks later, the price goes down, you basically lost a little bit. So if you, um, buy Bitcoin in regular intervals, you have an average um, price that you paid for it in the end, which can be of advantage. But uh, the problem with auto DCA is that many people have been doing this with small amounts in recent years, which was possible because the fees, on-chain fees were low. But now when we are having on-chain fees, sometimes of $5 or 10, or sometimes the highest was, I think, 70 US dollars. Um, then um, these uh, transactions are getting uh, uneconomical. You basically, if you auto dollar cost average with an amount of $10 a week, then you have a lot of single um, unspent transaction outputs with $10 on it. And if you want to spend those, the fee is higher than those $10. So if you want to start doing auto DSA, um, use only amounts higher, I would say 300,000 sats, for instance. If you can't afford that, I suggest uh, you start with um, stacking sats in lightning or liquid because the fees are much lower there. Hello, my name is Anita Posch and if you liked that video, please subscribe to my channel now to inspire me to create more content like this. And if you want to learn more about Bitcoin, then sign up for my free weekly Bitcoin newsletter at anita.link news.